legislation it wants, he is going to ruin a lot of the things that are what make Canada a good and decent place to live. He's already done a huge amount of damage with the minority government these past five years. As a minority government, they tried three times to push through a bill that would make law mandatory prison sentences for those of growing cannabis. And what mandatory means is just that. It takes away the discretion from the judge to look at the situation in determining an appropriate sentence. So that's a mandatory prison sentence for the Compassion Club cultivator who provides medicine to patients with serious illnesses. That's a mandatory prison sentence for medical cannabis growing for themselves who doesn't have a Health Canada license, which is the vast majority. That's a mandatory prison sentence at the cost of $100,000 per year per person to keep someone in jail. This proposed legislation was so outrageous that in December 2009, we went to Ottawa to add our testimony to the voices of all the experts, the judges, the criminal lawyers, the defense lawyers, and many others who talked overwhelmingly about all the ways this bill would have negative consequences on Canadian society. But the Conservatives don't care about hearing reason. Three times they tried, three times they failed. And if Harper had had a majority government, this would already be law right now. And if Harper gets a majority government on May 2nd, the Conservative government has promised to bring this bill back and to make it law. We are the ones who have to stop this. Harper and his born-again Conservatives refuse to look at or consider, consider evidence in developing sensible, effective policy around drugs. They don't have a clue. They don't understand what harm reduction means. Instead, they want to expand the war on drugs. They're ready to put another $500 million to build more prisons so they have the capacity for all the extra people they plan to put in there. People like medical cannabis growers and medical cannabis patients. So there's a stark choice in the type of country, the type of society we want to live in. And that choice point is coming up right now. It's coming in just 12 days. So, for the love of all that makes Canada a good place to live, and on behalf of Canada's only Compassion Club and all our members, we urge you to get out to the poll and vote. Take a moment, educate yourself on the candidates in your riding, and make sure to vote to beat the Conservatives. It's the least we can do for our society, for our communities, and for ourselves. Thank you.
Bring him home and remember all those who we have lost. And you're all free here today, but many people are not. And as that clock hits 420 and we send up a big smoke signal to celebrate our freedom, let us remember those we have lost and let us fight so we don't lose anyone else ever again. Happy 420! So we're going to actually be handing out joint 
cards from in front of the stage, so you need to actually, there's nothing getting thrown on the stage, we're not trying to start a stampede, so we need people to move back and, and sit down so that we can actually get people through the crowd, start handing out those joints. The master of